Hey everyone, Jason Drosis here, and welcome to the second part of my Gravity Blast tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking about some of the struggles that I had while trying to learn the Gravity Blast technique, and I'll show you some exercises you can do to improve your consistency. Now consistency is based on two main factors, timing and power. When I first started learning how to gravity blast, I found it really difficult to get the timing right, especially at faster tempos. The part that kept tripping me up was the fact that each arm movement actually makes two snare hits. So in my head, I was thinking about the speed I wanted to play, and subconsciously that would make me try to move my arm at that speed instead of at half that speed. So I'd be trying to move my arm at a much faster speed than I actually physically could, which would result in me just randomly jamming the snare drum and not keeping any kind of proper time. The way I got over this was to focus mainly on keeping my downstrokes in time first. Since the upstrokes will naturally happen as you move your hand up, you don't really need to focus on them consciously, if that makes sense. So for example, if I'm trying to play 16th notes at 150 beats per minute, I'll just focus on hitting the 8th notes on the downstrokes, and even if the upstrokes are a little bit out of time, that's okay, just keep focusing on the downstrokes. One way to help with this is by playing eighth notes with your foot at the same time. So your arm and your foot will both be going down together and you can just focus on keeping them in sync, like this. Another thing that helped me with the timing, and this might seem a little bit weird, but I actually use a pen on a desk with my finger as the rim of the snare drum. This exercise was actually really helpful for me in developing the timing of my strokes and it's a much easier way to practice than using an actual snare drum. It's also helpful in learning how my grip and the angle of the stick affects the timing of the hits. Which brings me to my next topic, the angle of the stick. So as you're doing your downstroke, you want to keep the stick at an angle like this, so that the head of the stick hits the middle of the snare drum the same time that the fulcrum hits the rim. If you hold it too far this way, the head of your stick is going to hit first, you'll end up with something like this. And if you hold it too far the other way, you just won't be hitting the snare drum at all on the way down. So you've got to find the right angle, which is going to take some practice, and it'll be different depending on the angle and position of your snare drum. So we've talked a lot about timing, but what about power? This is often a problem for people doing gravity blasts, especially in live settings, where there's all this other noise going on. The snare can often get drowned out by the cymbals, the guitars, and everything else. Now your gravity blasts are never actually going to be as powerful as your regular snare hits. Just by the nature of the technique, it's not possible to get as much power to translate from the movement of your arm into the snare drum sound. On your downstroke, some of the power gets lost into the rim of the snare drum, and also into the continuing motion of your arm down past the head of the drum. Unlike a regular hit, where all the power goes directly through the head of your stick into the drum. And on the upstroke, as I mentioned in the previous video, most of your power is coming just from your fingers pulling the drumstick up. So how do we get more power into the snare hits? Well, the answer is just as simple as you might think. Apply more force with your arm on the way down, and with your fingers on the way up. So to apply more force with your arm, all you have to do is change the way you move your arm so that you're involving more muscle groups. If you just move your wrist like this, then you're only really using your forearm muscles, which will give you a fairly weak hit. The next step up from that is to bend at your elbow. So now you're getting your tricep involved too, which will give you a little bit more power. But if you want maximum power on your downstrokes, you're going to need a little bit more than that. So what I do is I sit pretty far back from my snare and I angle it slightly towards me so I can use my whole arm to push down for my gravity blast like this. So as you can see, since I'm moving my whole arm, I'm also involving my shoulder and my chest to push down for even more force. Of course, this is going to get tiring a lot faster, and it's even harder especially at faster tempos, but it gives you a lot more power in your gravity blast. Now to strengthen your upstrokes, all you can really do is work on strengthening your fingers, since that's where most of your power is coming from. So you're going to have to do some training. One thing you can do is just practice single strokes using only your fingers. Another thing you can do is get a gripper. I don't actually have one, but I'll put a picture over here somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about. Using a gripper is great because you can just kind of do it passively while you're doing other stuff like watching a movie, doing some work, or even while you're doing your single strokes. You know, you can have your drumstick in one hand, gripper in the other, and then switch hands. So that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful. Try these exercises out at home. Let me know if they work for you. And also let me know if you know any other useful exercises. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. 
and there'll be plenty more tutorial videos and cover videos coming up in the future. See you next time. Wow, look at that. I actually did an outro.